today's Monday. I just got home. It is 6.50, 6.51. I just got home. It's been a long day. Mister, <laughs> you look so cute. Hi. <laughs> that was so cute, guys. You were just so adorable right then and there. <laughs> um, let's see, I did not meal prep again yesterday. I've been slacking, but I had a nice quesadilla for lunch today and curly fries, and then I got cookies for PD, but then I ended up not eating them because then it's teacher appreciation week, and then they kind of got us cookies and brownies and Rice Krispie treats and everything, so I was just like on a sugar overload, so I ended up not eating the cookies I bought, but I'll ha I saved them at school for next week for when we have professional development on Mondays, because Mondays are always my late days. Hey, right, mister? Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, the day was fine. Long, but fine. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I think it's pretty straightforward, but I'm starting to wear a little bit more blazers now instead of jackets, even though I had my jacket with me, but because it's getting warmer. On the train still, it's a little chilly, so I wear my blazer, but then when I'm at school, I normally take it off. Even though now I probably have to start wearing them again, just because, um, we end up putting AC on now because it is warmer and the kids just are really hot. So... Um, here's the blazer. I decided to not tuck in this shirt today, so it was just being like flowy. It's short sleeves, um, or otherwise. And then just these pants. This is just my outfit. It was simple, pretty straightforward. But I do want to like meal prep some grapes and cheese for the week. I have some of that, so maybe I'll get that done. I don't know. I was just reading your comments, guys, from yesterday's video, and so many of you guys have said that I got you like hooked on avocado toast and it's just so funny like i freaking love avocado toast and i'm making some right now this is gonna be like my late i guess dinner today i'm not that hungry but like i should eat something i just had like a super big lunch today like i didn't even finish my lunch i had a humongous lunch i was like feasting today i hate when the avocado gets overripe and then you get like some of the brown stringy stuff and i freaking hate that so like I just like picked through one whole avocado and ended up probably with about half an avocado and ended up tossing the other half because it was all brown and stringy and ugly and ugh, not tasty at all. I just hate it. I, I feel like it tastes different and it just doesn't taste tasty. But um, this is what I ended up with. It's like literally ended up being like half an avocado. I might have to pick through some of this as well. I don't know yet. Oh yeah, picking through already. Missed a couple of pieces, I guess. But uh, still having avocado toast. I didn't want the whole avocado to go to waste, but some of it definitely ended up going to waste. I didn't eat them fast enough. That's the hard thing about avocados. I hear you could actually freeze them. Let me know if anyone's ever tried that, because I'm not sure how that works. And if you guys have any tips or tricks on freezing avocados, because um, I hear you can freeze them. I just, do I freeze them like whole, like not taking the avocado out of the avocado? Like, you know, leaving it with the seed and everything? Like how, how would I go about freezing it and how long does it last and does it still turn brown? I mean, or does it taste like normal after? Like where I could have avocado toast or, I don't know. If any of you guys have tried freezing avocado, please let me know in the comment section down below because at one point the price is gonna be like amazing and they're gonna be so cheap and I should just freeze them or maybe not I could just buy them Target normally has ripe avocados if you go to Target um, other stores end up having like super hard avocados but Target always has like a section where there's like super ripe avocados but I don't know I feel like I don't like I don't know why they're a dollar at Target but like five dollars elsewhere so to me it's just like maybe I shouldn't be buying them at Target and I haven't bought an avocados from there in a while. I'm just saying, like, I've noticed that they're a dollar at Target. It's like a dollar store for avocados at Target. <laughs> anyway, let me know, guys, if you guys have ever tried freezing avocados. But I got my avocado toasty right here. That ended up kind of working out. I mean, my toast is looking a little bare. I gotta add in a little bit of crushed red pepper. Uh, that's good. That's a little bit perfect. Now we need my garlic salt. The one from Trader Joe's. If you guys have never tried this one, you need to try it. Seriously, amazing. Or the everything bagel one. 
Did you guys see that fly? It was the top off of this. I went to go take it off and it just flew off. So, okay, so a lot of people have been commenting, or actually not commenting, just people in my life have been saying I do this weird, but like I hold it like this and then I twist with this hand. I don't know, it's just the way that it goes. Apparently you're supposed to hold it like this, but I just find this like so weird. Like I like to see what I'm doing, so I just, I go like that. I turn it sideways. Let me know how you guys grind your things. Do you guys hold it sideways or do you guys hold it straight down? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. Got some black pepper, fresh cracked black pepper is probably better. Oh my God, that was a lot of black pepper. My bad. Whatever. And then some tomatoes. Oh, this is such a cute little tomato. The smallest little tomato ever, but it's perfect. This will be great for my avocado toast. I won't have any leftover. It's like the perfect size. Actually, it might be a little too small for my avocado toast. We're gonna make it work anyway. And I probably should be using a cutting board, but I'm trying to be very careful not to cut my fingers right now. Don't try that at home, guys. Then the last thing I do is add a little bit more salt on top just because I like salty and I feel like the tomatoes need some salt. So I just added like some salt on top of the tomatoes. And then we call it a day. Dinner is served, guys. I'm so happy. For those of you that have tried avocado toast, I'm so happy that you guys love it as much as I do and that I got you hooked on it. I mean, I'm sure your wallet is not loving that because avocados kind of get really pricey. But at the same time, it is a pretty fast breakfast slash lunch slash dinner. Pretty much good at any time of the day. So I'm so happy you guys are like enjoying avocado toast as much as I love avocado toast and as much as Cuba loves avocado toast as well. Sorry, I was like trying to peek to see because I heard like little foot footsies, but he's not over there. I thought he was at the door and I was just gonna be like, wait, did he hear me say avocado? He did have some avocado yesterday though. He was enjoying it. So I am catching up on some Jane the Virgin. They have the new episodes on Netflix and I guess I missed it. I didn't know like when it came back on and you guys know I've been like so busy with like school and just like life that I haven't even had time to check or even think about watching shows. So now that it's on Netflix, I think I might like download some episodes for like the train rides and stuff and catch up on Jane the Virgin episodes. But I am currently like I watched like the beginning of the season and then like it was like delayed um, before they added like the rest like on the actual TV so I haven't like watched it but um I am on episode where am I where's my overview of these episodes it doesn't tell me anything I don't know I just have like a review resume button oh season five episode two Wait, no, that's Young and Hungry. That's not Jane the Virgin. What am I doing? Jane the Virgin. Okay, season four, episode nine. Sorry, that's where I'm at. About to purchase the drone, guys. So I'm getting the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum. I'm gonna order it from Best Buy, and I think, I don't know, maybe I need like a, um, like a protection kind of thing afterwards, but we're gonna add this to my cart because we're gonna buy this. Oh my god, it's gonna be a nice big purchase, but I think it'll be good. All right guys, super big purchase, but we are about to place this order. Processing your order. And my order is confirmed. Also literally just got a text message from my credit card company, like Chase Fraud Protection. Did you use your card ending in blah, blah, blah for $1,194? At Best Buy, if yes, reply one. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I purchased a drone. <laughs> but I'm glad my credit card is like keeping up with this stuff because that is a big purchase. I don't normally buy stuff for a thousand dollars just like that. So, but I'm excited. I, I'm excited that, you know, YouTube is gonna be growing maybe, hopefully, I don't know, but I just wanted to get it anyway. Like, it'll be great for lifestyle photos, it'll be great to include montages, I'm just so excited. Sucky part is that Chase did not let me complete the purchase because I had to reply, say yes, and then it says, message was not completed. If you'd like to purchase this, have the merchant repurchase it. Like, what? Why are you not letting me buy this drone? Why? I'm just confused though because I got the email that Best Buy has received my order but then Chase said that the order was not complete and if I want to make the purchase with the card have the merchant rep uh, reprocess the 
transaction. So I'm kind of very confused. I don't really know if it went through or not. I don't know. About to shower, guys. But first, I'm going to put on some Crest White Strips. I did one of these yesterday, but I'm doing another one today. My teeth don't feel sore or anything, so I'm just going to go further. Might, they might be sore tomorrow. I don't know, because it's going to be two days in a row, and I normally don't do it two days in a row. I normally do it, like, once, and then another one, like, months later. But I don't know. I don't feel like my teeth are yellow lately, so I'm just going to do another one of these for about half an hour. I don't know. I'm looking yellow to me, but I don't know. Maybe they'll get whiter with this. I mean, that's why I do these anyway, because they do generally work for me. So that's why I do them. It's just, I never normally need it like back to back. It's just like lately, I just been feeling like they're a little yellow and I'm gonna go shower. So by the time I get out of my shower, then I'll just rinse my mouth, take them off and I'll be good to go. All right, so this is the top strip. It's the longer one. I should have painted my nails today too. What a fail guys. Mondays is just a hot mess. All right, we're good to go. All right guys, done showering. Did my crust white strips. Are they looking pearly white? I don't know. I always feel like they look whiter after I do it. Let me know what you guys think. Do they look whiter? Do they look yellower? Do they look the same? What do you think? I think I'm pretty much getting ready for bed at this point. I'm just gonna get a glass of water. I like to have some water next to me sometimes. I don't normally, but occasionally I have a glass of water with me. I don't know, is this like a normal thing for you guys? Do you guys normally go to sleep with like a bottle of water next to you? Or like, what do you guys do? I don't do it often. It's like really rare actually for me. I don't normally go to bed with some kind of drink next to me, but Lately, because I'm still like getting over my cold or whatever, I've been sleeping with like a bottle or glass of water next to me. Oh. 